Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the other gray market watch dealers and the viewership seems to be declining. Uh, the watch dealers that I think are most interesting in my opinion are Reblux, which is Darby and Liz. Obviously that is a direct, you know, their Darby is the videographer and has been for TPG for a long time. In addition to being the videographer, Liz was head of sales at one time. So you would think that this team would be very, very productive. They would be able to sell lots of watches. But the investment in YouTube, I don't think is a good investment for them. Uh, half their team, Darby, does nothing but make videos. So that's a very, you know, I think you need more salesy people. You need more at least more capital, right? You need to buy more watches. You have to do more deals. Uh, videos are not going to be essential for a two-person team, in my opinion. So that's why I think the videos should stop. Uh, they are getting less views, and half the team is making videos. That doesn't bode well for the company. The other uh, group um, that is kind of very directly associated, Marco being Anthony's partner after all, is Grand Caliber. Grand Caliber has, to my knowledge, at one point, or this right now, two videographers and another photographer. This is a whopping investment for a for any type of watch dealer, a luxury. I mean, you can maybe justify one videographer for them, but I wouldn't even on this type of uh, viewership. Um, a lot of what they do, they spend, they sometimes travel to places and the videographer goes. That is incredibly expensive method to get content. And, you know, I, I think they can just make content like me and they would have a better time and maybe do a live stream sale or something like that. The type of content that has been very popular is also the type of content that is probably most expensive. Two videographers, you know, again, maybe they can, they, they are better capitalized. They have some investor money. Maybe it makes sense for them to go ahead and do this. But two videographers on payroll is just uh, a little bit too much for a channel of this size. I probably would justify maybe a videographer who's freelance and works for you half time, works for someone else half time. We used to hire a photographer who did this. They worked for my clients half time and then they worked for a rug company half time and it worked pretty well. Sometimes the rug company wanted him to work more and so on. And again, it's a lot of push, right? When you pay the salary and you expect to, you know, it's, it's always tough, man. It's tough when you have that type of thing, but it worked out financially for us. Now, the person eventually became very lazy because he would always make excuses and be like, I'm at the rug company. Then you call the rug company, he's not there. And then the rug company calls you. Uh, the boss of the rug company calls you and he's like, oh, is he working extra hours at your place? No, he's not. He, he wasn't in show up today. So for the investment that they have made, um, you're not really seeing a, a very good return, in my opinion. Um, it is something where... You do have to see bigger numbers. So the reason that I think Darby and Liz don't make sense is because half their team is out doing videography. You got to make sales, right? You got to make sales. Um, you got to make sales. And when you talk about um, the situation with them, Maybe one videographer. Wolverin. So Wolverin is kind of coming out of nowhere. They're consistent with content. I think they probably have a videographer and staff. Maybe more. Uh, definitely the turnover. Uh, one surprising thing about them is they got their act together really, really fast. They were able to move out, which turned out to be a blessing. I mean, I don't know how dangerous the other Alpha Crown place. We'll talk about Alpha Crown is but my god they kind of moved out at the exact right time uh, in terms of the robbery at least knock on wood it doesn't happen to alpha crown or woven again uh, you would never wish that upon anyone so yeah they're making content their content is lengthy you know half an hour content a week and 
you know they're having it looks like they're having a good time um, building their this is what Grand Caliber could have been right you don't need to buy the old TPG channel and one of my biggest criticisms is that they did buy that channel for a lot of money and without you know without actually having um while actually having very much to go on, they they still have their own brand and so on. And this is what Grand Caliber could have been. I, out of all the channels, they're probably on the path to success most because at least you know their subscribers. You can see that their viewership numbers are bigger than their subscribers. Eventually, that will catch up, and then their subscribers will be bigger than their viewership. So overall, their SEO is pretty good. Their thumbnails are pretty good. Here is another issue that we had. It is the same issue that faced grand caliber of tpg when you are buying a channel or you know again the 20.9 subscribers it really was the woven subscribers right the original watches of wo uh wolves of <laughs> watch street and uh when you go ahead and you buy the channel it is then hard to get the type of views you can see that their views are way down because the algorithm is not promoting them, the algorithm is definitely promoting Woven because A, they're a new channel, and B, they're getting view, and eventually these subscribers will come. Uh, in this game, it's not actually a game about subscribers. You don't get paid, you know, if you want to get YouTube paid, you only get paid on views, and the same thing with uh, any impressions or anything like that. So you can see Woven's numbers, even though they're brand new, are substantially better than Alpha Crown, even though Alpha Crown has more subscribers, right? It is really, really hard to turn over subscribers if it came from another channel. Uh, that is difficult to do. We saw that with Grand Caliber. They attempted to do it. They really worked hard to do it, and they just couldn't do it. Um, they couldn't do it because simply for the fact that those people wanted to watch Anthony. So some part of this subscribe so, uh, base was a or individuals who really just wanted to watch Wolverine. So or um the the Bell so the you're the Bell brothers, right? What who was the other guys? The Navarro brothers, right? So when you have a team of four and they split their ways, you're actually a lot better starting a new channel and handing over the old channel. Uh, even in terms of views, not in terms of how much money it costs, right? I'm sure that there was some type of calculation of who got to keep what. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Bye, guys.